my name is Anna, I'm a speech and language therapist who works with kids and in this video I'm going to show you a game that you can play with your child if they're aged between about three and five and it's a really simple wee game but it works on some really important communication skills. So if you're an early years practitioner who's watching this video you can find this activity in the I Can Chatting with Children pack. So this activity works on your child's attention and listening skills and those are two really crucial skills that underpin their language development as a whole because those are the skills they need to tune in and listen to the words that they're hearing and tune out all the other sounds that they can hear around them in a room. So for this activity you'll need to go around your house and find some objects that you can make a sound with. So I've got a couple of wee examples a spoon rattling in a cup, jingly keys, some scrunched up paper. So don't overthink it, just find some stuff that comes to hand and then make sure the room you're going to play the game in is nice and quiet, make sure the telly's turned off and get down on the floor with your child and just have a little play with the objects that you've picked up. Name each one and have a chat about the sounds that they make. So once your child is nice and familiar with all the objects that you've got, you're going to get them to shut their eyes, you'll make a noise with one of the objects and they have to guess which one made the sound. So maybe that's a bit too tricky for your child at the moment, in which case you can make some wee modifications that will make it that bit easier for them. So you could reduce the number of objects that they've got to listen to, even right down to two objects and try and make sure those things sound really different to each other. And maybe that's really easy for your child, in which case there's things we can do to make it a wee bit more difficult for them. So we could add in more objects so they've got more to choose from and see if you can find some things that sound a bit more similar to each other. Or you could use objects that you haven't chatted about in advance and they're not familiar with the sound yet. Okay, hope you enjoyed in this game with your child and let us know how you get on.